Hello Taurus, welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. But before we get started, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Taurus, let's get started. This is your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. Taurus, how are you? What exciting thing did you experience last week? Drop that in the comments. If you didn't see the previous tarot reading for you, Taurus, I will link that in the cards as well as in the description below. The readings are timeless, even though they do have a weekly, they, you know, what I'm, they're, they're timeless. So whenever you're seeing this and it resonates with you, it's meant for you. Divine Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Do tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is going to be big. It's going to be big. If I have troubles, okay, popper, jumper. If I have troubles with these cards, big energy, big tings, iguan. Taurus, what's going down for you? Divine Spirit, do tell. We got delivery trucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're going to check the shadow card, which ends up on the bottom of the deck. You have the Nine of Cups, Taurus. Shadow card points to either hopes or fears or a combination of both. We will get into this shortly. Nine of Cups. Four of Swords. And Eight of Wands for Taurus. Hmm. Okay. So, what are we dealing with? This is something going on with the relationship for you, Taurus. With this Knight of Cups, I'm feeling relational wise, you need to take a step back. From a particular relationship. Okay. And then the Eight of Wands. And it's going to be a... You got to decide quickly, Taurus, that you do have to take this step back from this particular relationship. I'm not sure whether this is family, friend, or work-related relationship. Maybe we will get clarification um, as we draw more cards for your spread. Let's see. What can the shadow card tell me? So your shadow card is the nine of cups. Hopes or fears. Mm, okay. I'm feeling like this is a romantic relationship, Taurus, that is, that may require you to take, to take a step back from that romantic relationship. Because I feel like this is, this is a fierce, a fear indicator right now that the relationship isn't all that stable. You're not headed towards your happily ever after the ideal relationship you've been searching for or building with this individual this partnership romantic partnership i feel like it's not going the way you've wanted it to go it's it's becoming it's feeling like you're unfulfilled in this relationship so Yeah, you have to take up the spirit is telling you to take a step back, take a break, take a rest from this relationship 
or at least take a mental break. Like if it's not something you can actually leave, you you actually live together. It's take a mental break and let's stop the disagreements right now. Let's let's stop the dis disagreements. Regroup yourself, Taurus. Okay, take a break. Regroup yourself. And you really need to take your break quickly. Like, don't delay. Don't continue to have disagreements because you are unfulfilled in this relationship. So it feels like you're kind of picking, like, picking at this person. So decide right now. We're going to stop the picking. We're going to take a mental break. We're going to take a rest. We're going to continue to be genuine and be compassionate. But you do fear that it's not it's not going the way you expected it to. Let's get some clarification, Divine Spirit. Let's clarify for Taurus, if you will, please, about this romantic relationship that seems unfulfilling and a little bit rocky right now. Divine Spirit, do tell. Okay. The Devil card. So in your relationship, there is a temptation for you. You feel like you're being played. Taurus, you feel like you're being played in this relationship. And that's why it's unfulfilling. That's why there's some bickering on a regular basis, which is not healthy. Because you feel like you're being played by your romantic partner. And you don't like that. And that's, you're like, I'm not one to be played with. Right, Taurus? I'm not one to fool with. Okay? And you're, you're missing, the harmony is missing from this relationship because you feel like you're being played. Three of Wands, wow. Okay. You feel like you can't express yourself with your partner without it elevating to arguing, bickering, or disagreeing, Taurus. Oh. Mm. You, want, you want to get past this. You want to move past the bickering. You want to stay in this relationship, but it's become slightly difficult for you because you do feel like you're being played what else divine spirit mm -hmm. hmm. you've been independent for a long time before you even got into this relationship Taurus and I feel like I'm getting you have been with this person at least at least one year so far and you were very into independent before that and so even getting into the relationship for you was a little hesitation because you had been independent for so long. Um, <laughs> you have a strong willpower like nobody is going to play me. I'm not having that. And so therefore you, you will you will voice your displeasure of the situation. And that's, again, the arguing and the bickering. But again, you have to take a break from this. You have to. Give yourself space to actually understand what it is you want out of the relationship. Find a way to communicate effectively with your romantic partner. Okay. Let's get a single card for Taurus from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Let's see what else. Can we get an outcome for Taurus Divine Spirit? Give us a single card. Single card. What is the outcome for Taurus, Divine Spirit? Concerning this romantic relationship and the current state of affairs. Do tell. Cosmic Womb. The Divine Feminine. All right, Taurus. If you take this, this is super difficult to see. I do apologize. If you 
take the time to take a step back and allow the divine feminine to help you get to a place of loving yourself unconditionally so that you are able to love others unconditionally. Take responsibility for the actions and the role you play in this relationship, Taurus, right? It's not one-sided. It takes two to tango. Okay, so take responsibility for the role you play. And also take accountability for trying to get things to a better place, a more harmonious place. But you're going to have to take a step back so you can see clearly on how to do that. Especially because you do want this relationship to work out. One more card from the Spirit Animal Oracle for Taurus. Divine Spirit. What Spirit Animal Will Taurus embody this week for the week of March 3rd through March 9th? Do tell. Peacock spirit, let it shine. Let your love shine. Let your love shine, Taurus. Let your love shine so that you are able to renew your relationship that you truly do want. You truly do want this relationship. Let your love shine. Let love overpower everything. Let love um, guide you. Let love rule in the relationship. Not blind trust or anything like that. Not disrespect not, you know, lies or anything. Love conquers all. It's not just a cliche. It's a real thing. And love is an action word. So you need to take a step back, create a plan, right? So that you can renew and transform the relationship you really do want. Okay, Taurus? I do hope that this reading has resonated with you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos I have coming for you. I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.